Hey there folks, Caleb Downing with SDI, and I'm loading up some magazines here, some Rimfire magazines, and I was going to try to show you Rimlock. However, technology has advanced in such a way that it is actually a little difficult, actually quite difficult, to get these Taurus TX-22 magazines to load in properly and create Rimlock. Hopefully you can see here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You have these rims on these cartridges right here, right? That's where the primer is. These rims on a rimfire magazine, right? These rims need to be behind each other. If this rim on top was behind this rim on bottom, then the system would not cycle right. When that round on top tries to move, these rims would come in contact with each other and it would not cycle properly. You, you would get a jam. These rims have to be lined up with the top rim over or in front of that bottom rim so he can freely move and cycle. If the rim is behind the bottom rim, then when that top cartridge tries to go forward, it's going to catch on that rim. Again, this used to be more of a problem, but with modern uh, design magazines and stuff, it really was nigh near impossible for me to get this guy to achieve rim lock. So kudos to weapons manufacturer, gun manufacturers out there for making things better. I appreciate that. Uh, but that is something to note, especially if you've got older firearms or guns that are prone to that. Make sure you load your rim fire magazines and firearms properly so you don't accidentally incur rim lock.